All right. Um, ending it up with another messy situation, a scary situation in that Christine Quinn's husband, Christian Dum- uh, Dumanet, was taken into custody and was booked for assault with a deadly weapon. Um, as of, uh, he appears to still be behind the uh, behind bars when we were filming this, and his uh, bail was set for thirty thousand dollars. So TMZ reported that police were called for a domestic incident, and that there was a verbal argument between Christian and Christine. And Christine told police that Christian threw a bag with glass in it at her. Um, they reported that the bag missed Christine, and it actually struck their young child, who is um, just three years old. Um, TMZ then reported that there was a call to 911 that was placed and the ambulance did arrive. The toddler did not need to be transported or get treated at the scene. But, you know, this is a pretty serious, um, a serious situation. Uh, assault with a deadly weapon. I mean, how long can you be behind the bars? Does Christine need to formally press charges against her husband in this situation? So what's going to happen here is that... Christian's going to be charged with a felony. So uh, whenever you do something that may result in great bodily injury, it doesn't have to be your traditional weapon like a gun or a knife. Throwing glass is sufficient. And mm-hmm. that makes the assault a felony and not a misdemeanor. So uh, Christine does not have to pres- press charges. This is a crime against the state. So it's going to be the people of the state of California versus Christian. And the case is going to move forward whether... Um, you know, she wants to or not. And, and it's not only a criminal case that we may be dealing with, but also a dependency case, which means mm-hmm. social workers may get involved. And if they believe that the child is at risk, that's how children get removed from one parent or sometimes even both parents. Now, mm-hmm. usually when it comes to domestic violence, if there's a failure to prevent the domestic violence, the victim may also lose custody. But it sounds like in this case, she did the right thing. She called 911. She was protecting her child. So um, if there is a dependency case, it may just be against Christian Oak. So in a felony in this case, um, could he expect to spend a significant amount of time behind bars? Um, what is kind of the next steps for him? So it's really going to depend on if there's a plea offer and whether he goes to trial or not. Um, oftentimes, even in a felony in a place like Los Angeles, you know, where I live, um, if someone doesn't have criminal history and they're a first time event, they may, may be able to get off with just probation in the first instance or a suspended sentence. So it's going to depend on what his lawyers are able to negotiate based on the facts of the case, as well as the criminal history. And frankly, what the deputy district attorney who's assigned to the case, the prosecutor decides to offer.